All right, everyone. Um, this is a little short video to tell you to go check this guy who did amazing work, um, a lot of cross reference, and uh, even though he's a really small channel, there's dedicated trolls for his channel. So I think everybody should could check it out. Um, here's what it looks like. If you're trying to go from uh, Apia to Pago Pago, which is let me show you on. Um, what it looks like it's uh it's right in the middle of the pacific and as you can see here it's where there's the weird um intersection of the time zone and whenever someone w tries to fly from apia to pago pago something really really weird happened let me show you. So let's go back. So there's only two flights available, each over five grand, 34 hours for 70 kilometer stretch. So check this out. In order to go from Apia to Pago Pago, they need to go to Nadi and then to go to Sydney and then to Honolulu. And then from Onolulu to Pago Pago. <laughs> Makes total sense, right? You know, just take, just take a 5,000 kilometer detour to get from point A to point B, which is supposed to be about 70 miles. So, <laughs> uh, go check, um, uh, this guy. Go check Propaganda Destroyers. Uh, he did a lot of cross-reference. He looked at a weather map. Go check his channel. Amazing stuff. And uh, <laughs> um, have fun trying to explain to me why someone needs to take a 5,000 kilometer, a 5,000 mile detour to go across a little bit of water. And uh, yes, just to for the trolls to know already, I already did my my check to go from Pago Pago to um, Apia and there's so-called island uh, island flights but you can't you can't know what the flight cost or anything before you enter a full page of information you cannot have the how much time it's gonna take or anything like that before you fill out a huge form application so and pay so um, I might just take that flight one day just for fun to just confirm because this is just strange. All right. Have a good time, everyone. Talk to you soon.